Hey, welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm Zlevin, and this is Kudelka, if you didn't already know, on the PlayStation 1. So last when we left off, we finally made it to Valna and Vigna, Vigna and Valna, the two spirits, dolls, whatever they may be, little girls, dead beasts of carnage. Um, we're going to give them their dolls so they give us the green key. Yeah, they're mummies. Ha! I knew that. They were mummies. And, yep, the green key is shining between them. So we're going to try and pull out the green key. And they want their dolls. So we're going to give them their damn dolls. Because I don't feel like fighting them forever. So hey. One less problem to worry about. So we're going this way. And as soon as you use the damn green key, you throw it away. So it's like, well god damn. At least you know that it's not going to be taking up any space. And remember this room? I think this is the room where we saw Charlotte in one of my earlier videos. She was talking to us through these bars that we couldn't get open and we were kind of trapped. There's an item on the ground. A potion. Uh, I guess I'll take that. Looks kind of weak. Going up the stairs here. And where are we? A lot of weird stuff. Another potion. Uh, I don't even know what these potions do. Let me check on that real quick. I think I'm. The only reason why I'm hesitant is because I think I'm about to run out of space soon. You know how I am about my space. <laughs> Potion. Oh, it just restores HP. I might have to throw those away later. Taking up one one extra spot. And this, I'm skipping this. That guy that I just fought that you didn't really get a chance to see, um, a B axe. What the hell is that? He hit me one time and did like 300 damage. Like holy shit. So I'm glad we were able to kill him quickly. But anyway, um, I'm trying to check out the walls in this room. Looks like a cell, but I guess you can't do anything. So let's check over here. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a door. Charlotte's cell, first floor. Was that a secret door or something? I don't know. But I haven't been in here before, so let's look around. Examine. I'm going to be smashing my button. I'm pretty sure you can hear me pressing it. There's still food on the table. Okay. You hear a young girl laughing softly. Aw, oh, shit. Suddenly, the furniture in the room starts to vibrate and space itself begins to twist. What? These descriptions are uh, pretty asinine, but I love it. So this is a boss fight, you can tell by the music. And we get to fight furniture, of all things. So how do I want to do this? Um, obviously, we're going to use magic. I just can't remember what to use. Technically, you could use flare. Let's see what flare does. And we're going to move you up to kill one of these guys. Let's go for the chairs. They look weak. Damn. <laughs> he smashed the shit out of that. Alright, so we're going to move little James over and have him use some magic too, but we're not going to do flare. We're going to do tornado. It's pretty strong for some furniture. You guys are lighting him up. Hey, that looks like it hurts. And obviously the uh hey he's he's poisoned? What the hell? Well, as long as uh, Edward stays alive, they can't get to us, so we're going to try and keep him there as long as possible. So let's do some more damage to this furniture. Hopefully these guys die soon, because it's kind of ridiculous. But we're going to need to heal him. Ah, he got knocked back. We're going to need to heal him, so these guys can't keep moving forward like that. 
and I guess let's use Flare again. I think this guy's almost dead. Or this furniture. Yes. Ooh. I'd be I'd be kind of mad if I use Flare on furniture and it, it said Miss or it said Immune. I'd be like, what the hell? Must be that new fire resistant furniture that they got at, at IKEA. <laughs> You know they got it. Ikea sells everything. Alright, so. Kill him, kill him. Probably not going to kill him, but. We're going to heal you. Right meow. With our little priesty. There's one thing you can count on um, James for. It's putting out quick heals. When he does like magic, regular magic, he moves really, really slow. And Kudelka. Well, let's try Megaleth. We saw what Flare did. I mean, it did a decent amount of damage, but I like to try different attacks. Sometimes they die quicker. Oh, look at that. I should have used that from the beginning. 5,000 damage? What the fuck? Alright, so, as you can see, this game is really, really weird. I guess earthquakes would damage furniture, if you want to think like that. Uh-oh. Charlotte, do you know what these are? They're letters from your mother. Did you know that your mother was a queen of Hanover? It seems that after you were born in secret, your mother was locked up inside Alden Castle. Even while she was imprisoned there, she sent many letters to you here in the monastery. She never laid eyes on you, but she often imagined what you looked like. She dreamt of the day when she would be able to see you. Her letters never got to you. And she was never told of your death, so she continued to write you letters, even after you died. Your mother loved you, Charlotte. What? No. no. I can't I take this now. She loved me? me? No. 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 It's, it's too, too scary. scary. Hey, hey, I feel warm. warm. What's, What's happening? happening? No. no. Help me. No, no, no. Did you love me? How does it feel to know you are loved? Damn, Charlotte got pwned. How does it feel to get to know that you're loved? I gotta use that against a woman in the future. How does it feel? How does it feel in your face? Alright, so... Hey, we got some levels up. And what am I I'm gonna give you the regular? Let's give you some, actually. Let's take that away. Agility. Yes. I'm making uh, James into the ultimate beast now that he can use two hand swords. So, yeah, we just pwned Charlotte. Nice little cutscene. And you can't get that cutscene if you don't, um, according to what I read, you can't get it unless you pray at her grave and you have to find those letters. So, if you would have went to her without that, something else would have happened, which you can probably find out on your own. Um, you found the flare brooch. And I cannot carry any more items. Oh my god. So. <laughs> let's throw some crap away. Potions. Yes. Remember what I said? Toss them all. Holy crap. Everybody has a. Uh, well. Two of our people have high magic. So we can just heal each other. And that's a normal beat axe. I don't need that. The good thing. If you haven't noticed is. Uh. Regardless of where you throw stuff away at, weapons, tools, whatever, it's all one big ass inventory. So whatever you throw away empties up different slots in your inventory, if you didn't notice that already. And I haven't been able to use the cat's eye, but I'll keep it.
So let's see what this does real really fast. Not still not a good uh, holy crap gives her like 10 extra vitality but her pie goes down. I mean, she's pretty much all almost invincible against hmm against magic attacks. I guess it wouldn't hurt too much, right? More vitality is never bad. And now that she lost one of her best equips, I guess I can give that to uh to this gentleman right here. He's going to become a, a magical beast. I hope I don't have to fight him at the end of the game or anything with the equips that I give him. That would be pretty crappy. Yep. Her vitality skyrocketed. So she's almost up to Edward now. Nice. And James is the weakling. Alright, so we're checking out the rest of this room before I run out of time. Everything's all coming together. What do you mean there's nothing useful here? Come on, guys. There's got to be something. Something. The food on the table is gone. Holy crap. So remember how the room was all, like, uh, like colorful and stuff? Now it looks like this room is all dusty and, like, nobody's been here in ages. That's pretty neat how they did that. Okay, maybe there isn't anything in here. Huh. So let's walk out through this door that's right here. Dungeon first floor. And that's a lot of, looks like bodies. Oh, that's nasty. You hear that? <laughs> I'm skipping this. Alright, let's see what we got now. Aha, she finally leveled. So, what do I want to give her? I've been stacking a vitality like crazy. Let's go back to your intelligence. And I guess I'll have to start giving you more mind. So you can move accordingly. Or hit stuff accordingly. And we don't need another one. Of Actually, no, we don't need any more of those. Don't forget, weapons break in this game, so you gotta be careful. Hey, we found a listal. I'm actually going to take that. Because I am going to heal people. There's more crap in here? Pistol rounds, yes. Is there anything else? Just more pistol rounds. Alright, hold on. Before I run out of time, let's use this. I was I was hoping that I could uh I thought that was a door up there. But I guess you can't get up there. You can only walk on those bodies and make those nasty squishing sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here, guys. Um stay tuned for my next gameplay of Kudelka. Until then, take care.